So hello and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name's Ollie and today's video we are doing my July favourites. Everything I've been loving, using, watching, listening to throughout July. This one is a good one. This one has a lot of big, fat, passionate favourites in it. So let's jump straight into the video. The first thing, which I think I may have spoken about just a tad on here, you might be able to guess what this one might be. And this is, and it's a filter by Molly May, spray it to me, and basically it's like the tan I'm wearing now on my face. It's just this, and you literally just spray it on. It is genuinely the best tan I've ever used because it's so natural, it goes on so easily and natural, and like it's part of like my skincare routine now, like weekly. If I was going on like a night out or something, I'd probably use a mousse, but for like day to day using like a natural daily glow, this is 100% the best thing for that now and I can't believe I ever li lived a life about it now because genuinely I use it all the time like you know I, you guys have now much little filter I've got my mousse and tan drops for mitts for dressing gowns just, I, I've got everything but this is something else genuinely I really highly recommend this one there's a reel on Instagram of how to play it so if you're wondering how to play it why is no one hoovering right now sorry if you can hear that I filmed a reel about how to use it and it's genuinely the best thing in the world. No cap. This next thing, okay, is a brand which, again, I spoke about a lot, but it's something which I didn't know, it, didn't know existed, and it is the Palmer's Moisture Boost Conditioner, Palmer's Moisture Boost Shampoo, and Palmer's Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so Palmer's very kindly sent me these as well, and I've used them on my hair now. My hair's never felt so good. It's never felt so fresh. It's never felt so, like, hydration. It's never felt so thick either, which, like, shocked me, because I have, like, obviously I bleach my hair. I mean, I need to do it again. It's very much running out. But I bleach my hair so it dries it out, makes it a bit like damaged. This is insane. So like obviously you start with like the shampoo, meaning the conditioner, and then something I've never used in my life is a leave-in conditioner, which is this. You guys know I always use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizer, and this is Birch Coconut and Tahitian. Tahitian. My mum and I are fighting over using this because she wants to use it because it's so good. I want to use it because it's so good, and like she's got a lot longer hair than I have, and it's just. A lot. So this is a 10 out of 10 and it smells amazing. Like the smell on these is insane. It's so fresh and like it literally feels like like tropical, like you're in Hawaii or something. Like it smells amazing. 10 out of 10. It's for dry damage or cold treated hair. My hair is dry, my hair is damaged, and my hair is cold treated. So this is a lifesaver for me right now. Okay, this next one, this one is cold showers. So we went for a thing in our house where the hot water was broken. So I was like forced to have cold showers or smell. So I went for a cold shower. And you always see on TikTok how like cold showers are meant to be good for you, meant to be good for your skin, your mind, everything. And I didn't believe that. But then I started having cold showers and they're not actually that bad. And I kind of started enjoying them. So now after I've had like a hot shower, I'll turn it to cold for like the last minute or so and just stand there and do freeze, but like, it's really refreshing. I can't explain it, but it genuinely is really, really refreshing. And cold showers are like, I'm not necessarily say I've changed my life because I don't think they have, but we do feel really nice. And it's something I've been doing a lot and want to do more. And I did a face bath thing, ice bath, and that burnt a lot. So I wanted to build up to like a whole ice bath, but we're a long way from there. Trust me, I couldn't even do a face bath for more than like a like 30 seconds. It was cold and like, oh, cold, cold. Complete side note, I feel like I've not filmed in my room in ages. Um, and I think this is why, it's because the lighting is so unbalanced because over here is like they're dark and it's just big and we've got a big window here and it just throws off the lighting. I mean, I could get my phone on lights. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, so this next favourite is a new Disney Plus show. It's not a new, Di it's not a new show, it's a new season of a show. Do you know? High School Musical, the musical, the series, season three, episode one. I've watched it, and by the time this goes out, I would have watched episode two, I'm pretty sure. But I'm already obsessed, already obsessed. Like, one of the first songs was, What time is it? Summertime, from High School Musical 2. And it was like mashed with, Stop, stop, stop the party. Come on, come on, everyone, let's, from Cab Rock. They like, merged it. So good. I mean, one thing I'm a bit sad about is that Olivia Rodrigo is apparently not going to be in it a lot, like, at all, apparently. Which I get, like, she's probably... Is she too big enough for Disney? I don't know. I mean, probably. But, like, oh, it was so good to have a season episode one. Like, we've got to camp, and there's, like, new relationships, and love triangles, and... But there's a lot of characters missing, which I do, which I do find quite sad. But Jason Earl, aka Jackson Stewart from Hannah Montana, is in it as, like, a main character. And Corbin Blue, who played Chad Danforth from High School Musical 1, 2, and 3, is also in it as a main character. Like, that's quite cool. Like, that's quite a, I mean, what is the budget on this show? Crikey. It's really good. I highly recommend it. It's like High School Musical meets Camp Rock meets Frozen, and it's really good. I'm very passionate about this show, if you can't tell. Now, let's move on to the one 
and only album that now exists in my life. Renaissance, Beyonce's new album. Do you know how long we waited for a Beyonce album? Well, a solo Beyonce album, eight years. We have waited eight years since Lemonade, and now we have Renaissance. It's a 16 track album. This, the day I'm filming it, the day it came out, and I, I woke up at half seven and I've just played it all day, back to back, all day. I am obsessed. My favorite songs are Cozy, Alien Superstar, Cuff It, Church Girl, Thick, and Pure Honey. I think they're probably my favourite songs, which is a lot actually, but lol, it's a really good album. It's sound of Beyonce that I've never heard before from Beyonce and I'm really, really okay with it and I'm obsessed with it and I feel like I just wanted to like dance the whole time when I listened to it. This is the first album of a three-part album trilogy. We're about to get two more Beyonce albums. I don't know where, probably in the next few years, but but yeah, that's kind of my July favourite really. July's been a really good month. July's been one of those months for me where I've had to pinch myself a lot. There's been a lot of things happening in July where I've been like, it's just my life. But that kind of wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out Spritz Me if you want that natural golden tan demonstrated here by our fine model. Here's one we created earlier. And also the hair. If you're wondering why my hair looks so nice and fresh, one, it's because my brother's actually a really good barber and he does it full time. Um, if you want a good barber, hit me up, I'll send you his deets. But second of all, it's because of this stuff. Ba bam. It's actually genuinely really good. I'm actually, I was blown away. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you very soon with another video.